Hello, welcome back to Seawolf's Den. I'm crafting Ron. I have an idea. I had an idea that I've been saving to video from scratch. I ran that game with the spidery things and the spider crawler and I really kind of, I mean, it was fun. And, and um, I kind of always want to have a backup in case things are too easy. What I did, and what I've done in the past a lot of the times, because I don't feel like I'm good at creating monsters statistics, you know, game statistics. And I know that there are a lot of people out there that thrive on that, to create a creature. I like the look of a creature, I like creating them, I like making them out of these toys and stuff, but I never really have an idea of how to... I don't know everything about creating monsters. And rather than spend the time and time I really don't have, I decided to go to the community, uh, but this particular community was for Savage Worlds, which is uh, what I play most, and I asked somebody else, you know, just random people, I actually got two people to stat them out for me, and um, both of them did really well, I wanted to thank both those guys, and uh, but I, 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 I just, I feel like there's, I always need one more. And I, I came up with an idea with these guys. These guys had a gun on top. I took it off, popped right off. These legs pop right off, so I may have to glue. See, that one will stay. This one, not so much. I'm gonna have to glue them in. But I like, I like how all that looks. I just, of course, don't like the color. And I'm gonna put something else there. I've, there's two things I've decided to do, and I'm gonna try. I've painted this a long time ago and never used it, so. This is not its original color. This is the original color. So let's use this one. And I'm, I'm just gonna do this from scratch. I've got this. I'm thinking about cutting this down and, and, and drilling this into here and just sticking this right in there and have this come out as in the, out of the mouth. Uh, I think it'll look okay if I, you know, I just don't like how long that end is. We'll see. I always come up with ideas and then kind of second guess myself. But the one thing I want to do is place this up as a head. But I need to get rid of this backing because it's not going to work with the leg in the back. This is a good neck. I'm going to cut that off. And I'm going to have this kind of sit right there in between. Maybe use some hot glue to kind of <clears throat> make that a cohesive piece. So you see how this works. It's got a little edge there that, that kind of separates the two so two regions of the piece so I'm gonna go ahead and cut along that yep I'm just gonna use clips perfect now I could probably use that as something else too so what I want to do place okay let's just take off the legs whatever that's gonna get glued oh wow well. not bad one thing I did think about just drilling into this I've got some eyeballs that might fit in there and see that's the thing I these two look similar. This and this. I want to do something with this because, yeah, that still looks like a gun. But I'm going to cut that off and put this in here. That's going to look too flat and not organic enough. So either it's hot, I use hot glue to kind of make it look organic. I'm nervous about cutting the, into this because if it don't, if I don't like it, then this is this is a trash. This is trash. Or I could put something else in. I guess I can have the hole and fill it in with hot glue. Is it solid or? We'll find out. I'm gonna go get me a drill. Alright, so I guess that is half inch. Hmm, I 
like that. Okay, don't try this at home. Never really messed with the drill. I, I, I recommend finding somebody that has. Uh, this is uh, not plug in Ryobi, but that's what I use. See, what I'm doing is I'm pushing the piece onto the drill. I'm not even pushing the drill. Push the drill and there's more of a chance of bad things happening. Alright. Well, to answer my own question, as far as I went, it is solid. Now we have a hole. Tell you what, take off the knobby. Better. Yep, it does. Oof. Now the coloring obviously doesn't fit. That's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna go with that. What do you think? I think I like it. A little bit of glue, paint. I'm gonna figure out what to do with this thing. I don't like that that's flat, but I think I'm gonna make one or two of these. Another one sitting here. Here's its tentacle. Here's its head. And I'll paint them up. So, a fourth uh, final faction creature craft that I did not plan on, but okay. Um, my eyeballs are somewhere in one of these cases. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they are. Bought these for a craft I did a long time ago. One of my first beholders that I've since lost. I think, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's too perfect. We're going to have to drill a hole. I like that a lot. What we'll do is put some hot glue around it to kind of give it a... Anyway, looks like I'm going to have an eyeball, too. Totally making this up as I go along, but I, I like this. I like this a lot. We have a final product for our final faction. Fourth, the fourth craft, which I really hadn't planned, but just came together as I was looking at it. I'm looking at my parts. So this is the final guy that I made. Pretty happy with it. Um, there is some mistakes. Anyway, it's a nice, creepy, crawly dude. One eye, tentacles, very Cthuloid, hot glue came out looking good and it kind of fits the whole product uh, project. I have another one that I'm not finished painting, but basically I did a base of, you know, black and then primed it with black and then sienna, burnt sienna. I did an olive here on its little mouth, but it's kind of hard to tell that it's any different than the uh, thrall flesh, thrall flesh here. And then I did a pavement black on the claws. Why I do pavement black on the claws when you can do more of a clawy look, I don't know, it's just my style. I think it looks cool that way. And you highlight it with some gray and it kind of looks metallic in a way. Alien, really. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it's a finished product, except that I've got to mount it. And I, I like putting it on safety can tops. I've already got this poked. A skewer in there and have it sit on top of it. It, can't, it won't be all that long. Drill a hole to the bottom and let it be a part of it. And 
I gotta flock it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. 